Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to learn about convolution encoder of different reads. So in the convolution code, a block code of n bits is generated by an encoder that is based on current message bit along with some previous message bit. Or we can say that the task of encoding is performed on the basis of current bits plus previous bits. The input message is generally stored inside fixed length shift register. So let's understand these two points by the help of designing an encoder. So here is a convolution encoder that is containing the input at this side and this input is applied to the three shift register that are denoted by M, M1 and M2. Here M is denoting the current message bit whereas M1 and M2 is denoting the previous two successive message bit. On the value of this three shift register that is M, M1 and M2, the value of X1 and X2 is evaluated. Here X1 and X2 are known as encoded outputs. And if we talk about the expression for the calculation of value of X1, then it is equals to M XOR M1 XOR M2. So here is M, here is M1, here is M2, whose XORing will give the value for X1. If we talk about the expression for X2, then it is equals to M XOR M2. So here is one link from the M and here is an another link from M2. That's why we had written this. Now, on the basis of these two encoded outputs, that is X1 and X2, we will get our final output. So this is how we can design an encoder and we'll find the output on the basis of input applied to this three shift register. Here, the shifting take place at regular interval of time. So let's assume that this zero will fed here. So here is a zero. Then after some time, the shifting would occur. Then this zero will be shifted at this position. And after some time, the zero will shifted at this position. And again, shifting would occur and this zero will be discarded. So this is how the shifting would occur at a regular interval of time. And on the basis of the value of M, M1 and M2, since we know that X1 and X2 will be evaluated, so we will write the X1 and X2 first. After that, the shifting would occur and the value of these three shift register will be altered and we will get the new value for X1 and X2. So we will write the new values for X1 and X2. Then after some time, shifting would occur and we will get the new values for x1 and x2. So likewise, we will generate the output sequence on the basis of input that is applied to this three shift register and on the basis of the shifting that is occurring in the case of this three shift register. So this is all about the output sequence. Now let us have a look at some basic terminologies that are associated with encoder design. So the first terminology is code rate. Since the code rate is denoted by a small r, a small r is calculated as a small k over a small n, where this k is equal to number of message bit shifted at a time and n is equal to number of encoded outputs. Since we know that here in this encoder, the number of encoded outputs is equals to 2 that is x1 and x2. So the value of n is 2 here and since k is representing the number of message bit that are shifted at a time. So if we talk about the number of messages that are shifted, so let me assign 0 at this position. After that the shifting would occur and 0 will be shifted from M to M1. 
अगेन शिफ्टिंग वुड अकर जीरो विल बी शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम एम वन टू एम टू अगेन शिफ्टिंग वुड अकर एंड जीरो विल बी डिस्कार्डेड फ्रॉम दिस एम टू सो इफ यू एनालाइज दिस सीनारियो केयरफुली देन यू विल गेट टू नो डैट ओनली वन बिट एट ए टाइम विल बी शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम वन शिफ्ट रजिस्टर टू द अनादर शिफ्ट रजिस्टर सिंस only one bit is shifting from one shift register to another shift register that's why the value of k is equals to 1 here so if we evaluate the value of a small r that is the code rate then the value of k is 1 and the value of n is 2 so it is equals to 1 by 2 now let us have a look at the constant length that is denoted by capital k it is defined as the number of shifts over which a single message bit can influence the encoded output so if we talk about this message bit that is zero then it will be shifted here then it will be shifted here then it will be shifted and discarded lastly so there are total number of three shift over which this message zero will be influencing the encoded outputs x1 and x2 that's why we can say that the value of capital k is equals to 3 or the constant length is equals to 3 only let's have a look at the code dimension so the dimension of code is nothing but small n comma small k since we evaluate the value of small n equals to 2 and the value of small k is equals to 1 only that's why we can say that the dimension of code for this encoder is equals to 2 comma 1 and this is how we can design the encoder if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you